hello and welcome to a new video so i've got a very large tbr pile for september this happened for multiple reasons one because i tested out playing tbr pong which i was terrible at and two i wanted to fulfill all the prompts for the magical readathon so i'm going to put this down there because it's very heavy but yeah i basically thought it would be quite a cool idea to do like a big prolonged reading vlog i don't have any like 24 hour or like 48 hour or week long reading challenges or vlogs or anything planned for this month so i thought i'd just keep it going all month um, some of these books are for the Magical Reader Farm, some of them are just on my TBR and I normally end up deviating a little bit anyway so, so I thought we could just vlog it it'll be relatively spoiler free if there are spoilery bits I will give warning before they come up and I guess we'll just go through the entire of September I do have one book series in this stack that I am planning on filming for a different video so I'll just give brain ups to those rather than a full talky talk and I think I know which book I'm picking up first so here is the entire stack again and I think the first book I'm going to pick out to read is going to be The Switch by Beth O'Leary I'm not really completely in the mood to read this right now but the audiobook for this is not available on Scribd for this country but the audiobook for this is available from my library app for the next four days and then it's being hired out from someone else so I've basically got four days to get to the audiobook so I think starting with this is sensible to make sure I actually do that um but yeah I'm really excited about a lot of these hopefully it should be a good time okay we're only on day two but I'm like this far away from finishing and I've got a lot of cleaning and tidying to do today so I think this could go good I'm really enjoying it so far it's been really interesting I don't know if I expected to like it like it's got a lot of hype around it but I still don't think I expected to like properly like it because contemporary is not really a genre and romance isn't really like a genre outside of fantasy that I'd like go for but it's really good I'm really enjoying it and I've got a little cat about to join me hello hello what's you what you you can see but I'm gonna keep reading this and I'll probably end up picking up another today to be honest I think I've got about two and a half hours of the audiobook left so looking pretty good I finished the switch I've given it four stars I think it was probably like a little bit higher than a four star book but it was definitely not as good as the books that I've given 4.5 stars this year so we've gone with four stars I really enjoyed it and I really enjoyed like both of the characters perspectives like equally which is really rare for me when it comes to books with like multiple perspectives in to like at least have one character that I'm like oh I'll just hurry up with this character so we can get to like someone I like but yeah they're both really interesting and both had very interesting lives um it was a very light-hearted book but it also dealt with like a lot of grief and like feelings and loss um in a very like interesting and unique way or at least a way i haven't seen before um so yeah i enjoyed it four stars and at some point tonight or tomorrow i'll decide what book i'm starting next <laughs> It's been a couple of days. A couple of days ago, I think I filmed a little bit of myself reading this. 
and I am 68 pages in now so you know there's a dent in it but it's really not what I was expecting of it it is it was a few pages of introduction into humanism and it's basically just filled with quotes from humanists of the past and present which is still interesting to read but like a storybook where I can just sit there and continue reading and be happy to keep going and want to keep going it's not really like that like I'm reading about 20 pages and then being like yeah that was interesting and putting it down so last night when I came to bed I also started Bitter Blue this is the third book in the Gracing series uh, book one is Gracing and book two is Fire they are based in a world where people with two different colour eyes are called graces and have like really interesting powers I guess is the easiest way to call them but like they're very they're very precise powers it's not like they're strong or they I don't know, I can't think of any other superpowers, but like they're really precise, so it'll be like they're really good at sword fighting, or they're they're really good at archery. Like they're not just good at everything. Like it's like very precise powers. Um, if you haven't read book one, then skip forward like thirty seconds. But we meet Bitter Blue in book one, and then. You know they they keep her alive it's good and then this one follows on i believe about nine years after book one and we can now follow bitter blue on like her adventures i am literally three chapters in at the moment so i really don't know a lot of what's going on but it's already really interesting to see things from her perspective so yeah this is what I'm going to keep reading. We are heading out on a nice walk today. So I might take a book with me in case we want to sit down somewhere. That could be nice. But yeah, it is now the 4th of September. And I've read one book so far this month. And I'm currently reading these two. Unfortunately, a lot of the books on my TBR for this month are not available on audio. But that's all right it just means I can't have quite so many going on at the same time because I can't physically read as many at the same time but yeah um I'll keep you updated I only have about 60 to 70 pages left of this book. I'm absolutely loving it. I stayed up till half five last night reading it. Uh, woke up at half nine this morning and started reading it again. So yeah, really enjoying it. And I'm hoping I'll finish this today. I do actually have work that I need to do, but I'm kind of prioritising the book. Which I shouldn't. I will get the work done. But okay so i don't think i've actually updated but i finished a bit of blue and it was really 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 good i ended up giving it 4.5 stars i think it was another one that was like it was almost five stars book one of the series grayson i gave that five stars it really was like amazing and then book two fire and they booked three bitter blue i've now given 4.5 they just weren't quite there i think it's because it was like a whole new world the first time it packed more of a punch maybe but yeah 4.5 stars really happy with it really glad i read it and that was being used for the book the map prompt for the magical readathon so i think i've now technically 
complete the magical readathon because you only need to read two books to complete the passage. I'm obviously going to try and still do more but technically complete. <laughs> I've got the Travelling Cat Chronicles which I'm like about halfway through and I did this last month. This is a reread so it will be super quick to read. And then also from last month I started a video where the cats pick my TBR and just haven't got round to reading the second book of that video so I do need to do this at some point as well. So okay good <laughs> what i think i'm gonna do is because i'm in kind of like the fantasy ya mood i'm gonna start a different video so what i'm gonna do basically is i'm gonna do a whole video reading the vampire academy books for the first time and it's gonna be spoiler filled and have everything in it so i'm not gonna include that also in this video but what i will do is when i finish each of those books i will check in with what i gave them i guess and I'm, i'll probably read books in between them so i'm not going to just read like all six of those books together in one and then carry on with the rest of the tbr like they'll be slotted in between of us so i'll be here and there but yeah hello so i haven't checked into this vlog in quite a few days now i actually ended up very quickly racing through the first three books in this series so vampire academy i gave 4.5 stars i'll read out the back of this one because there won't be any like spoilers so lisa dragonmere is a mortal vampire she must be protected at all times from the fiercest and most dangerous vampires of all the ones who will never die rose halfway is lisa's best friend and her bodyguard now after two years of illicit freedom they've been dragged back inside the iron gates of st vladimir's academy the girls must survive a world of forbidden romances, a ruthless social scene and terrifying nighttime rituals. But above all, they must never let their guard down. Least the mortal the immortal vampires take Lisa forever. Yeah, really good. Really enjoyed it. Um It didn't get the full five stars, but it was really good. Like, it's a lot better than I expected, especially for like an older YA vampire book. Um I mean, I expect it to be good. I hoped I'd enjoy it, but it was just a lot better than what I thought. Then the second one, Frostbite, I gave four stars. And then last night, I read Shadow Kiss, and this got five stars. This, it was like 4.5 star territory. I knew it was like better than the second one, and probably just as good as the first one. And then the last few pages. The, there was a twist that I did not see coming at all. I was shocked. I was like, whoa, what the hell? What is going on? Um, and it ended on a bit of a cliffhanger. So I straight away started book four. I've now realised that was silly because I've got the graphic novels for books one, two and three. So I'm going to try and pause book four and uh, read the graphic novels for the first three because I think that's the best order to do it in. But yeah, really, really like this. And... The, th there's a twist I didn't see coming, which uh, is uncommon for any YA, especially YA that's a bit like, yeah, this was released more than 10 years ago, so yeah. <laughs> I've just finished the first graphic novel and honestly it wasn't that great um maybe if I hadn't read the books it'd be good but a lot of good stuff was cut out a lot of the reason that you like like the characters and like yeah I'm not very impressed with it to be quite honest it it almost seems like they cut way too much out it would have been better if they'd have just either made the graphic novel bigger or like split it up into multiple because it really wasn't great and a lot of things were unexplained or they changed the explanations to things that I know won't make sense in the future which I'm guessing is why they only did three books because yeah it's not not great I haven't figured out what rating I'm going to give it yet but I need to figure that out and yeah if I'm watching some reading sprints on the telly we go. Um, and the first sprint's almost over which means I can basically read one of these per sprint 
So that's what I'm gonna do. I started the second graphic novel and there's just so much they're cutting out, like so much that makes the characters who they are. Um, really not impressed. Yeah, I'm not really vibing with them to be honest, so yeah. Read all three of these now and honestly they weren't good. Um, which is really shocking because I'm absolutely loving the books. Uh, like I've read the first three books in this series, there's six in total. Like I started the fourth one, I was like I better read the graphic novels first so I'm not completely out of order. And these were rather shit, I'm not gonna lie. I gave the first one two stars, second one 1.5 and I don't know whether to give the third one 1 or 1.5. I think 1.5 because I don't want to be too harsh but like the story's just not there. They've changed so much. They've just made it silly. Like it doesn't make sense. You don't get the feels and it was just not not good to be quite honest. It wasn't there and I'm not very impressed. Um, I would like to read some more today so I'm going to probably go through it and see what books I'm part way through and pick some more to read. But yeah that was today's reading so far. I mean early so quick they only took me like 45 minutes to an hour each to read so that's something I guess. Okay so I've got a stinking headache and none of the books I'm currently reading are on audiobook however on Scribd I've just found my sister the serial killer as an option to listen to so that's what I'm going to do. I don't know how much I'm going to listen to or what I'm going to think or what's going on but that's on dear. Okay, so it's been a while since I've recorded on this vlog again. I thought whilst I've got the little camera set up here that I would do a quick catch up. I've never read all of the vampire books, <laughs> really enjoyed them. Blood Promise I gave 4 stars, Spirit Bent I gave 4 stars and Last Sacrifice I gave 4.5 stars. So all of them really good, the lowest rating was 4 stars which is still an amazing rating. <laughs> I'm still currently halfway through a couple of books and I think since the last time I spoke the only book I've properly read more of is My Sister the Serial Killer. I have just been popping that of an, of an evening and listening to it. I think I'm about two thirds of the way through now. I'm enjoying it still. Um, Skip forward about 40 seconds to avoid My Sister the Serial Killer spoilers. I still really don't understand it. My one problem with this book is your sister's a serial killer, just turn her in. Like, I don't know, look, obviously there's a lot of like, but she's family, but we're related we're like blood related and all this and like they went through the traumatic event in their childhood or whatever but like I just don't care like she's a serial killer just turn her in like I don't understand it and like there's so much going on with this book it's a really good book but the main premise is her sister's a serial killer and I just like she knows she knows I just, yeah so the Joe's being extremely loud in the shower. I don't know why he's being so loud. Is he gonna stop? So the Aurelium 24 hour readathon has started. That's the first sprint going on now. This book here, I'm using for one of the prompts. I think I'm using this for the standalone prompt. I can't actually remember for sure. Um, yeah, those two books I'm also halfway through, but I'm just having a bit of a sort out, a bit of a plan. I've also got these three books that I want to get to this month, but I'm not really feeling any of them right now. Uh, <laughs> so I don't know what to do, to be quite honest. I think, I think maybe I'll just like tidy the bedroom or something for this first sprint, like get my environment nice, and then figure it out after that. Okay editing cover here that's where i left the video there's still 11 more days left of september and apparently i never recorded anything else so yeah um 
I had a really good reading month. I actually really enjoyed most of the things that I read. I did do an entire September wrap up. I'll link it somewhere up above if you want to see absolutely everything. Obviously this was a lot more vlog formatty. I won't be doing it like this again. I'm either going to be doing my 24 hour, 48 hour or themed reading vlogs. A month long was too long. I kept forgetting about it and apparently I ended up forgetting about it altogether. So yeah, um, there's that. Um, but I really, if you've watched it this long, I really do hope that you enjoyed the video. Please do give it a like if you did. Subscribe down below if you'd like to see more reading vlogs, not like this. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye!